Hello, my beautiful souls. Welcome into your daily read for Monday. I hope all is well. Um, as you can see, we do have a new setup here. I yet again moved into another apartment. I'm um, just moving all around. I don't know if this is going to be where I'm going to do my readings moving forward, or at least um, all of them, just testing out the waters and trying to shake off those beginning nerves. I don't know, for me, it feels like whenever I read in a new location, in a new location, bear with me, um, it kind of feels like I'm reading for the first time, um, but it's good to step out of our comfort zone. So anyways, let's um, pull from the Modern Witch uh, tarot deck and then uh, see where the reading takes us to begin for Monday. Okay, the Strength card coming out as well as the Two of Pentacles and the Hangs one. So I feel like the day does uh, highlight the fact that you are truly one strong individual. It feels like all the meanwhile certain factors are affecting you. I know I say that on my channel with my readings a lot, um, but I do feel like all the meanwhile things are going to be affecting you like energy, spirituality, um, your own habit or two. It could be um, a routine or just the way something is run or feels, again, that is energy. But I do feel like there's one of not multiple other people outside of you that are affecting things, not so much for the better, um, or maybe a combination of for the better and for the worse. But I feel like you do need to adjust your perspective at one point, if not multiple points throughout this day, because you're feeling a bit pessimistic or maybe just a little bit moody, or you're just focusing on the details and the negatives a little bit too much. I also feel like there may be an opportunity of some sort, a door to potentially open or that already has open. Oh, bear with me as I lose my breath a bit. Um, I do feel like there's gonna be a bit of a push to change your mind about that. I would say the advice coming through is wholeheartedly look within, the answer lies within you, trust your intuition, feel it out, and um, then maybe strategically apply or don't apply that spiritual guidance, but it could be somebody um, in your external reality that's not a spirit that's going to try to adjust your perspective or your opinion. But anyways, I also have the two of pentacles on the board because I feel like it's a day where you're balancing things out, weighing things out in your mind, your heart, your soul, your awareness. And I feel like all the meanwhile you do have um, a second choice coming up moving forward. So don't settle for what doesn't feel uh, right for you or don't make a quick decision if you don't have to. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's two key accomplishments throughout this day that you need to focus on more importantly than the rest. Feeling like it is a bit of a productive day at least at certain points or for the most part. <clears throat> but again, there's two major accomplishments, tasks if you will. They're saying whether you write them down or not and those are going to take a focus as um, again the most important. I want to pull an overall energy. Very interesting timing to do so. Judgment. All right. Judgment. It feels like there is certain levels of judgment um, exuding from you. You're giving that off, that energy, when you're out and about uh, strutting your stuff is what I'm hearing. When you are uh, looking at yourself, I want to say, when you're thinking about how to proceed, um, about uh, what you've wrapped yourself up with, uh, habits you've acquired, uh, picked up over time. I feel like as well, you could be giving they're saying a gentle touch, a, a, an appropriate kind and amount of honesty and judgment towards a community of some sort. It could be multiple people or one person in particular, but it feels like your judgment and honesty is coming through in a few different ways throughout this day in a couple, at least a couple, if not more than a couple different situations. Anyways, uh, bear with me as I do ramble per usual. I'm hearing your comfort is important. It feels like there's a situation, if not two at most, where your comfort could be increased, right? Whether it's uh, your, uh, it feels very much within your control, right? Um, as they show me the four pentacles. Okay, hold your cards close to your chest and make sure to save your money is what I'm getting. Interesting side notes, but I do feel like all the meanwhile, there's one if not multiple things you could be doing throughout this day and surrounding it, or more so moving forward to make one, if not two at most, again, situations more comfortable for you. Isn't that important, right? Um, but it's a day where you're going to be valuing um, and there's gonna be a big highlight on your individuality, your alone time, and how you're able to do things without the assistance of other people. But there may be 
one if not multiple doors you need to op see open moving forward so therefore you need someone else if not multiple other people's assistance in that sense but there's a focus on what you're able to accomplish on your own right um, regardless of uh, whether or not there and I guarantee for the majority of which there are certain hands and um, actions otherwise from other people that are uh, adding to the success for you moving forward and have up until and has up until this point but anyways I feel like there's a focus on you being a very individualistic type of individual and you're able to conquer overcome and move forward um, in that manner but I do sense that you are thinking about financial freedom moving forward right or more of which you're thinking about how to make it big or how to get further um, how to prepare for upcoming expenses is what I'm getting um, and how to have uh, worry free finances is what I'm getting so it's gonna be a day where at least at one if not multiple points your money is on your mind how to get to this ten of Pentacles I'm hearing or back to this ten of Pentacles uh, status in way of living and feeling all right they're saying it's all about your mindset it's this ten of pentacles abundant i'm already rich i'm already financially free kind of mindset that they want you to take back on bring back into your situation or take on for the first time regardless of how that looks for you i feel like it's going to benefit you greatly because i sense that being drawn to this specific daily read you are manifesting quite efficiently so remember that all right um don't put the details in the corner is what I'm getting. Okay, anyways. Um, we have three more on the board. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Feeling less confident about your money, but I feel like there's a focus on when you're not feeling as grounded, when you're not feeling as bold in energy, because I feel like um, in vibration is what I'm getting, because there's certain factors within you, outside of you, um, that are going to inevitably naturally just strip away that grounded way of being and so spirit saying again going back to the comfort message uh, your comfort and your groundedness this all ties in together so what can we do what can you do individually knowing yourself best at this point and understanding what you've been through purposely up until this point what can we do to turn this in the upright and feel more grounded um, and more larger than life right because you deserve to feel that way and that's when you attract in a lot of positive uh, attention and rewards all the meanwhile the page of wands and the king of swords talking about how there's a new passionate beginning of some sort that you embarked upon recently or are moving towards uh, in the near future and you're going to uh, be pushed to remember that you embody this king of swords with that new beginning sort of passion um, all the meanwhile and you have what it takes to make it last to make it work and you may even find that say for example it's a living situation and there's one if not multiple aspects of it that you have to adapt to deal with um, overcome maybe if it's an obstacle um, or just uh, make the best out of they're saying that there's one if not multiple past similar situations of some sort that prepared you to deal with whatever that is for you and it doesn't have to be just one aspect of that situation or one moment occurrence if you will it could be multiple aspects and so spirit's saying let's not um forget how purposeful your path is um every up and down every choice and lack of choice decision but the justice card talking about how you're gaining justice for a past uh uh difficult situation or two all right and that's going to be quite evident throughout this day at least to an extent because something's working out to your advantage it feels like you're very supported being drawn to this reading whether you remember that at all times or not or you realize that or not i'm also hearing stay focused there's a feeling that you need to get into a very positive productive conquering kind of routine that instills uh true levels of balance in your life all the meanwhile right for me example i need to in this new place get in the flow the habit of doing readings most days most mornings that way i can you know leave the second half of the day or the nighttime at least open for other aspects of my life i know eventually it's going to have to be a serving job but you know what i mean uh for me i know myself and my routines or the potential of which i know that best and myself best once again so apply it as you may <clears throat> um I'm hearing make um, smart choices. I feel like that's gonna come into play in more than one way. 
and Spirit's saying there's another wish fulfillment on the horizon or one in general and you may just randomly be pushed to think about or focus upon that and Spirit will say in some way shape or form that's uh, the cup or the last cup that's meant to be filled for you moving forward and it's going to of course differ from case to case when it comes to timing but I do feel like all the meanwhile there's a fulfillment and a bit of an emotional attachment to what you want moving forward. Um, for some, it has to do with the Ten of Pentacles, but let's say it's an ultimate um, level of success and happiness, a wish fulfillment for you potentially in the end. All the meanwhile, they're saying uh, release the emotional uh, weighing down or attachment, and you're going to see things come to be much easier because that'll make it more difficult, as I do typically say. But I feel like, again, you're manifesting quite efficiently at this time. Let's pull one more. The Page of Cups. I feel like there is an emotionally fulfilling uh, new beginning on the horizon and you're thinking about potentially putting effort towards that situation, that new uh, endeavor, if you will, for the near future or maybe in the beginning stages of which currently, but it feels like there's a lot of communication from you, from spirit, from other people potentially throughout this day and surrounding it in regards to how well you're doing, how much better you could be doing in certain other ways. And I feel like once again, you're being reminded as a strong manifesting individual who has an immense amount of strength, this wish fulfillment lies ahead. All right. So if this was truly helpful, I'm sending you so much love and light. Go enjoy your day and I'll see you next time.